It is time now for Better Money. Joel Johnson is a certified financial planner and managing partner for Johnson Brunetti and is here today to talk about uh, retirement lifestyles, which is really important. So thanks for being here, Joel. It's great to be here, Kara. Retirement lifestyles, all the things that we want to do in retirement. Some people get to it, some people don't. Yeah, I know. You you say we need to talk about our wish list. And I was half joking with you, wish list and reality check. But right. um, we start with what we want to do, right? Like, what what, is, what do we want our life to look like? Right, and it's important people do this. They, they just sort of dream a little bit and forget about the money, because that's the okay. beginning of, you know, can we really build that retirement lifestyle so what we tell people to do is forget about money forget about all, all the constraints you know that you're thinking about can we afford this can we afford that just start writing out this wish list just dream a little bit think about your ideal retirement if you have a partner or spouse think about it with them write everything down and then we can start building a financial plan based on what that wish list is okay because uh, all right so you need a plan to make your wish all right so number one relocation and travel meaning do you want to relocate, do you want to travel a lot? Right, a lot of people up here in the Northeast tend to say, well, we want to go south as soon as we retire. That's not always the reality, but we want to think that through, so write that out. Do you want to go south? Do you want to stay up here? Where are the kids? Where are the grandkids? If you have kids or grandkids yeah. involved, where are your friends? So start writing out that, and then also the travel. Do you love to travel? If you yeah. love to travel, you know, that's going to be something you need to really define. Does that mean you like to travel to New Hampshire or does that mean you like to travel to Italy and Spain and all these other places? Okay, and are you going to work part-time? Which a lot of people, they get older and they are working part-time because they want to have like some structure in their life or maybe extra money. Right, what we see with a lot of our clients is they're working part-time because they want to, not yeah. because they have to. So that's they've a done a good difference. job saving for retirement, uh, but they want something to do. They love going somewhere every day to have a good time. Sometimes they work and they get some extra health benefits and things like that but for the most part most of our clients at least tend to do something whether it's volunteering or working or whatnot okay uh, volunteering is the next thing do you want to volunteer yeah and we have you know we, we have the opportunity uh, to do all these volunteer events for different charitable organizations it's amazing how many of our clients get involved in that yeah and so that's usually a big chunk of someone's day uh, or week, not necessarily working, but sometimes it's volunteering. Yeah, yeah, and we want to thank you for all the local charities you've supported, like Dress for Success and the Denise Senzo Foundation. Also, hobbies and activities. You know, some people really, uh, maybe maybe they love golf, or they love painting, or they just want to be have time to work on their hobbies. Right, what are those things? What are those things? For some people, it's working out every day, it's going to a gym, maybe doing a group class or something like that. For other people, you know, it might be wood carving or whatnot, but think through, and again, write down on your list what those hobbies are. What age should you write that wish list? Early. I would say start thinking about it in your late 50s, early 60s, because you want to oh, okay. have something to drive towards, especially in those years where sometimes you have to sacrifice a little bit today to get what you really want in retirement. Okay. So if you haven't done it yet and you're only in your 40s, you're okay. But, but write it down because, uh, what do they say, that a wish without a plan is just a wish. So That's you want to make a plan. <laughs> right. Make a plan, you know, a goal. Make, make, figure that out first and then start building a plan towards it. All right. And you have an offer to help people turn that wish into a plan and it's the retirement wish list um, it's free for anyone who is watching so if you want to understand this more um, you just go to bettermoneytv.com bettermoneytv.com and then you'll be able to get this for free yep and we love giving this to every single one of our viewers it's a brand new piece so we want everybody to get it and you'll uh, of course be able to answer anyone's question so if you do go to bettermoneytv.com um, it's called the retirement wish list and you'll be able to answer everyone's questions as well absolutely we love getting our questions from our viewers. All right. Thank you so much, Joel. Thanks, Kara. All right. Again, once again, uh, there's all the information right there. And